Welcome back, all you R enthusiasts. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to rename and reorder columns. It's super duper easy, so don't go away. If you wanna learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. So here we've got the Star Wars data set. This is a great data set to practice with and I'm gonna show you how to get this data set onto your computer so that you can go through what it is that I teach you today in a step-by-step -step fashion. So let's imagine that we didn't want all of these variables. We just wanted name, height, mass, and hair color, for example. And we weren't quite happy with the names of them and we wanted them in a slightly different order. Let's look at how you could do that. If you haven't already, you need to install the Tidyverse package onto your computer. You only ever have to do that once. Once it's in there, it's in there and you've got it. In any given session, however, you need to use the library or require function to, to call the Tidyverse and tell your computer that you're gonna use this vocabulary that the Tidyverse brings. Now built into the Tidyverse, coming with that is the Star Wars data set. So, let's have, so if you just let's literally type in Star Wars, you'll see it pop up in the console below here. This is the Star Wars data set. Now I'm gonna create a new object, I'm gonna call it SW, and that's just basically, and we, we push, uh, we make a little arrow sign that's the same as equal to, and that just means we're gonna have a new data set. It's a duplicate of the original one, and we can use that to practice and clean and mess around a little bit. So let's push Command Enter. And if I click on the object in the environment, we can see the same data set pops up. Now, one of the beauties of the Tidyverse is we've got this pipe operator, right? And it, it's the same as saying, and then. So we've said SW is equal to Star Wars, and we can go, and then let's se select and we just want name, height, and mass, for example. Command Enter. And now if we click on our object, we can see that we've got a much smaller data set. It's only got the variables that we've selected. We could, of course, add that. If we added in the word gender here, it would include gender. And then we could also say, then add in everything else. And it would put things in that order name, height, mass, gender, and then everything else after that. It's for argument's sake, say we want it in the order of name, mass, height for now. We can see that order is in there now. And let's imagine that we wanna give these things different names. Well, that's simple. We say, and then, there's our little pipe operator, next line, and we can say rename, and we start off with the new name that we want to use, right? So instead of mass, let's say we wanted that to be called weight. So equals mass, command enter. Now let's look at our data set. Boyashaka, name, weight, and height, exactly as we wanted.